Today we're working on a 2005 Mini Cooper. We're going to install a Kurt Hitch, part number C11126. Here are a couple measurements that will assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost point of your bumper is five and a quarter inches. And from the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 15 inches. This will assist you with selecting accessories such as a drawbar, a bike rack, or a car carrier. Now, let's go ahead with the installation. For the installation of this hitch, we're going to need to remove the rear bumper. For the ease of disassembly and reinstallation, we've gone ahead and removed the spare tire and the rear wheels. Now we need to remove the 11 fasteners that hold the bumper cover on. We've got two here on the driver's side inside the rear wheel well. We'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side, removing the same two fasteners. Now that we've got the fasteners removed from the wheel well, we need to pull the fender flare away from the fender. There's a Phillips screw underneath that'll need to be removed. Again, we're gonna repeat the same process on the passenger side. Now that we've got all the fasteners removed from each side of the fenders, we're gonna get up under the vehicle and we've got an eight millimeter bolt that'll need to be removed. With that removed, we're gonna go ahead and lower the vehicle back down and get in the hatch of the vehicle. We've got two screws inside that'll need to be removed. You can see we've got a fastener here on the driver's side. And there'll be an identical one on the passenger side we'll also remove. Now because this vehicle is a convertible and it has an actual door that opens down versus a hatch that'll open up, it's got a set of hinges. We'll need to remove this cover here before we can remove the bumper cover. Gently pry up and out. and then it'll pull from underneath and remove. We'll set that aside for reinstallation later. Now that we've got the bumper cover loose, we can begin working it off of the vehicle. Now we can't go too far as we've got the rear backup sensors that we still need to disconnect before we can completely remove the bumper. There's also an outer cover here on the bumper to cover the hinge. We'll go ahead and remove that also on both sides. All right, before I remove the bumper completely, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect all the wiring. We've got a running light here on the driver's side, connects to the fender, and then we've got the backup sensors. There'll be a total of four of them. And I'll remove them just the same way as I did that one. With our bumper removed, we'll go ahead and set it aside for reinstallation later. We've got a total of 10 fasteners on both sides that need to be removed. We got four bolts on each side and one plastic cap. We're gonna go ahead and remove those now. I'm not gonna completely remove that one yet as I'll get a second set of hands to help me pull the bumper core off after we get the fasteners removed from the passenger side, which I'll do now repeating the same process as we just did here on the driver's side. Now, before we completely remove the bumper off the vehicle, we're gonna have to disconnect all the wiring. With my wires disconnected, we can pull the whole core off. Now we've got three pieces here. The black inside piece is called the divider. We're gonna take this off, set it aside as it will not be reinstalled. We've got a foam insert and then the bumper core. With a second set of hands, we're ready to go ahead and install the hitch and bumper support together. They'll be sandwiched together and retightened with the same hardware, but we're gonna add a conical tooth washer with the teeth of the washer facing the bumper support. We'll install our fasteners finger tight till we have them all in place. Now we've got the four in on the driver's side, I'll repeat the same process on the passenger side. With all of our fasteners tightened down, we can go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated in the instructions. The driver's side complete, we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. With my wiring re-secured, I can go ahead and reinstall the bumper cover. 
With our hitch and bumper reinstalled, we can go ahead and reinstall everything else now. And with the car reassembled, that completes the install on our 2005 Mini Cooper, part number C11126.